Hi, I'm Scott Noonan, the CEO of Audio Advice. Today, I'm gonna to show you the ultimate home theater gaming room. As you know, we're based in Raleigh, North Carolina, which is the home of Epic Games. Consequently, we're always asked to design and build home theater rooms that double as gaming rooms. In this case, this room was built by a really good friend of mine who actually is a DIYer who did all the construction himself. Today, I'm gonna to show you some design principles that I've never covered before. So if you are a home theater installation company or you're thinking about design principles in building your own home theater, you've gotta check this out. Now let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, this room actually has three different screens, which gives incredible immersion in terms of playing games in this room. This is an 11 and a half foot wide, acoustically transparent screen up in the front that's running from a traditional projector in the back. This happens to be an Epson 6050. If you were doing it today, probably be an Epson LS 12,000. That is matched with ultra short throw projectors for the sides because you don't have the distance to project and get the full size screen from the other side of the room and trying to run projecting through the room. So they're hidden up here in the soffits. This is the LS500, which actually has a lens sticking down and projecting out. Today you would do this with an LS800, which is a really, really cool ultra short throw projector like this. It's got 4,000 lumens, but can go to a full 150 inch diagonal, which means if you were doing this exact room today, you could do three screens, all identical, 150 inch diagonal, and actually hide the LS800 ultra short throw projectors in the soffit all around for all three screens, which would be totally killer. Now, how do we get the video to all three screens? The answer is, if you look at a PC and you wanna do a room like this. It's got currently a 30 series to so a 3060 NVIDIA graphics card that's going out with HDMI to the three different projectors. Today, as you know, the 40 series is out. So you could even do a 4090 graphics card from NVIDIA and have an incredibly immersive gaming experience in this kind of setup. Okay, so one of the things that makes a gaming theater different from a regular theater is you need to think about input lag. So the LS800 that you would hide in the ceilings to do a room like this actually has sub 17 milliseconds of delay. In addition, it has 4K 60 hertz, and for a lot of gamers, they'll bring it down to 1080 so they can get full 120 hertz refresh rate. So one of the design principles we have to think about when we do a room that has multiple screens like this is that when you're just watching a movie and it's filling the front screen, the problem is you don't want all of the light then bouncing off the side screen. So you need the ability to control the light as we've got in this room to bring all the way down and black this out. In a gaming theater, you really care about where every single sound comes from, and you want to be able to isolate a gunshot, someone walking to exactly where they are. Okay, so in this theater, there's a left, center, and right. These are all the 5160 reference series in walls from KEF. Every one of these in wall and in ceiling speakers is THX certified. What is unique about these speakers is the UniQ driver, which is a patented driver that combines the mid-range and the tweeter into one point source. So if you think about most speakers, and we just take an average speaker where you got a tweeter on the top, and then maybe you've got a mid-range woofer below it. What happens is it separates the sound from where the tweeter is to where the mid-range is and sort of muffles the sound into a bigger space versus hearing it come from one source. What's cool about UniQ is because the tweeter is inside the mid-range, it comes from one perfect source, meaning you can isolate everything in this room to where it's coming from. The other advantage of this design is the UniQ driver has a really wide dispersion, which is about 160 degrees, which is massive. If you think about most speakers, what happens is when you're on axis, you can hear all the different frequencies fine. As you start to move off axis, suddenly you're not hearing the same thing. So there's really only one good sweet spot in most locations and you have to point the speakers to that location. Not with these. With these, because it's got such great dispersion, someone sitting on the left of the room and the right of the room can fully hear everything with smooth, equal frequency response as someone sitting in the middle. That also gives us another advantage of design using these speakers, which is that we can put the tweeter essentially in the middle of the screen so that when you hear someone coming through either in a game or in a movie, 
it's really coming from exactly where they are. And you'll see it allows us to keep the tweeters the same everywhere in the room, even though it's a little bit higher than your ears because we don't have the frequency roll off. And so we're really hearing everything exactly where it's coming from. So the sides are matching 3160 RLs, which have a Uni-Q driver sitting here in the middle, plus six and a half woofer above it, six and a half inch woofer below it. And you'll notice in this case, there's no grill on it because the homeowner just loved this sort of naked look of it, which I think also looks totally cool. But you can do a killer grill around it that fully covers it or covers it almost with a little cool looking bezel around it. Okay, so below the rears here, you'll see that we actually have base modules is actually has the exact same footprint as what we've got for the sides and the rears, but it's the 3160 RLB, which has got three six and a half inch woofers. There's two here in the back and two in the front. So four subs plus two cube 12 Bs that are on the side. So we've got incredible base throughout this room. Now, why do you want multiple subs like this? If you really only cared about one seating position and to have pretty good base there, you could actually find the right spot for subwoofer in the room and get it. But this room was designed, as you heard from all the UniQ capability, so that everyone in the room gets a great experience. By adding multiple subs in a room, we're able to balance out the sine waves that are happening throughout the room so we can get even base distribution across all the seats. All right, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about the Atmos here for a second. If you look in our home theater design tool, you'll see that we give people the ability to choose between setting up all of the sound in the room for enabling it for one location versus sliding it over to sound great in all the locations. Obviously, as we've talked about, this room with the UniQ drivers is great for enabling all the locations to sound great. Now, Atmos is one of the greatest challenges in doing that. And the reason is when you have your ceiling speakers, you look at Dolby Spec, the average angle is about 45 degrees to someone's ears. However, all great designers will tell you that if you don't have a fully angled speaker at 45 degrees, for most speakers, even if you've got the tweeter angle or things like that, you need to pull it in closer to maybe 35 degrees so that you can really hear those effects. And the reason is because the drop off of high frequencies as you move off axis. Well, that's where these 200 RR speakers, which are the ceilings from Kef, really add tremendous value. They have a 160 degree dispersion, which means that these fronts can be all the way 45 degrees forward, and we can play all the way back for the people in the back fully hearing them, and the same with the back ones in the front. The other thing that's cool about these speakers is that they have a one and a half inch UniQ tweeter sitting in the middle, but it's sitting in the middle of a full eight inch woofer. Most people, when they're putting the in-ceiling speakers, are doing sort of less expensive speakers. Uh, but as you move up into higher performance theaters like this one, you actually want that speaker to be higher performance so you can get the full depth and range coming from the ceiling, which these ceiling speakers fully do. All right, so let's talk just really briefly about acoustic treatments. So when you've got all this high dispersion and lots of speakers in a room, what you don't want is mass amounts of reflectivity. So doing things like this large couch here or big home theater seat, Seats, big thick carpet like you've got in this room and then being smart about putting absorption at least at the first reflection points and you'll see if you're using our home theater design tool it'll actually tell you approximately how much absorption you need in your room the other thing you have to think about when you're doing a room like this is transmission of sound to other rooms. And there's a lot of talk about that, but you'll see in this particular room, the ceiling was cut out to enable hiding the projectors up into the ceiling and to build the star ceiling. Well, to do that, you need to isolate from the room above it. So Rockwell was filled in all the spaces above it. Then the absorptive star ceiling came in and really nailed the isolation of this room from the rooms above it. Okay, I'm gonna cover a bunch of quick little design things. One, we've got back here electronic shades in the back of the room that give total light control. Notice this bar that's sitting here behind. If you use our home theater design tool and you find you can't get a third row in or second row, a great solution is to put a bar back here with bar stools. You can be on the same level without adding a riser and these people can sit right over and see over top of the second row. Now come over here. What you'll see in terms of lighting, we've got low lighting here so all the lights can be turned off in the room 
but you can easily walk in and out if a uh, movie's playing. Plus, you'll notice if you look at the lights here, they don't aim at the screen. They have to stay off the screen. They're aimed into the room. And then finally, a cool thing like this, if the homeowner's sitting in the back and wants to plug something in, computer and work, right there, nice little outlet. Everything in this house is controlled by Control 4. You can see it on the iPad here. You've got watch capability, listen capability, choose what you want to control for lights, all the masking of the screens, the audio, security for the home, shades, all the thermostats. And if you click on watch, you can see here in the theater room, all the different sources you can choose from. If you click on multi-display, this is the new software that Control Force released, where you can choose for all three of these displays, something different to play on every display individually. Super cool. Okay, so as you enter the theater room, you'll see there's the digital movie poster here. And actually this is used as free software from Great Dane Cinemas. They can also be used to look at the PC itself as a monitor as you enter the room. Here's the rack. Check it out, it's got all the networking equipment here, the gaming PC, this is music for the whole house, plus you've got the surround sound processor, digital movie server, all of your amplification here. Look, if you've got a cool gaming setup yourself, go into the YouTube comments and tell us about what you did and things that you've done that are sort of unique, or tell us things that you like or things that you think would be really cool as upgrades to this one. So one of the things I hope you take away from the video today is that there's a lot of things that go into building a great home theater, and they all interrelate, like what kind of speakers you have, how that relates to acoustic treatments, what kind of projector you're using, and how big the screen can be. So what I would tell you is this, if you're gonna build a great home theater and you've got a terrific home theater installation company like an audio advice that's local to you, go use them and get it right. If you don't have someone like that near you or you just love taking on projects yourself or you're a DIYer, go to audioadvice.com, use our free home theater design tool. That'll help you map everything out. Then it'll set you up where you can get a free design session with our home theater designers. We'll walk you through everything. We also have on our website all of the videos that you need from how to install speakers, to where to put your subwoofers, everything you would need to know to do this yourself. We also have a full inspiration gallery, buyer's guides, everything that you need at audioadvice.com to think about your home theater journey. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe so you get the next ones we've got coming out. We've got three more really good ones coming out behind this that are totally different. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.